How do you automate ShipStation to get your Etsy, Walmart, eBay orders, and more to come out of Amazon's FBA fulfillment program using a multi-channel fulfillment order? That was a mouthful. My name is Stephen Pope, and this is my Amazon guy, and I'll be answering that question. This podcast is sponsored by Alpha Raven House. If you want to triple your daily sales by ranking your product to page one at the top at 10% of the usual costs and getting verified reviews along the way, they're your solution. Check them out at alpharavenhouse.com. All right, so uh, I have been testing this for about a week now, and I had a really popular video I released last week. And uh, at that point in time, I had like half of my automation set up correctly. And now I have full automation. I'm very thrilled about this and can absolutely endorse ShipStation as a, a good automation solution to solve this problem. Um, so on the screen here, you can see I've got a couple of rules. You got default confirmation, ship out of FBA, right? So this is the fundamental rule that you need to get set up and that's the ship out of FBA. And what this does is it will set your fulfillment provider to be FBA. And when you do that, that means any order that comes in from another channel that you want to go out of FBA through a multi-channel fulfillment order, it will trigger it. And uh, one of the keys to this is that once you set this rule up, it won't backfill any of the old ones. It will only do it for the new ones. That was one thing that confused me initially. So the rule name, you know, I just call it ship out of FBA, is active, check that. Apply these actions to every order or just the ones you want. And then you can set up a filter if you want it to only apply to say your Walmart orders or whatever, right? So as orders are imported, apply the following actions. Set fulfillment provider is what you're looking for in this dropdown. Ship from FBA, service, and then you can select whether you want standard, expedited, or priority. And, uh, it will then, there's a checkbox here, and this is really important, automatically send fulfillment requests to the fulfillment provider. So if you have that checked and then you have your automation set up, everything is just going to pass back and forth. Really, really nice. Um, so if you go over to your, your orders, one of the interesting things is, so I have an item that I've stocked out of at FBA before I could zero it out on, uh, on other channels. And and this is sitting in a waiting shipment. Now I've since contacted the customer and said, hey, is it cool if I ship this late? My items are gonna come in in a, you know, a week or so. And they're like, yeah, as long as it gets there by Father's Day. So that was cool. But what's interesting is that this will auto trigger back to Amazon the moment it's ready and available. So it's sitting here and waiting and it tried to trigger it, but couldn't because I was stocked out. So it's sitting, which is good. That's exactly what I would expect to happen. Then uh, you've got some pending fulfillments. Now, I do have a concern right now that FBA is shipping pretty slow, right? So I shipped, I sent a request over eight days ago uh, over to Amazon's FBA uh, system, and they are late. They are super late and not getting it out the door. Um, so if that happens to you, I recommend you just file tickets requesting reimbursements from Amazon for shipping late. And they will um, give you some refund uh, for that because they have to, they're, they're supposed to hit their own requirements, right? So Amazon's kind of back to normal during this COVID thing, but uh, not everything is being prioritized, suffice it to say. All 11 orders on screen, uh, for the most part, were automatically sent for fulfillment. And then you can see also shipped ones that are, are finished and already done, which is really neat as well. And, and so, uh, if you need to do this manually, right? So like if you if you get ship station set up, you can go to a specific order and you can hit send requests on the mid right. So if that, if you're not ready for your automation, you just don't want to do it manually. You can still select from ship from FBA, send request standard and whatnot, which is fine. Um, and then the integration to these other platforms was pretty easy. Um, did not take me much trouble at all. Um, so let's see if we can go to uh, create a new. So if you need to get your store set up and you haven't done that yet, just log into ShipStation in the top right here, hit the gear icon. And then in here, you're gonna look for selling channels in the top left. 
And then uh, you can see I've already connected these ones. I'm now gonna hit connect a store or marketplace. And you can see the list here, everything from eBay, Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, Magento, Jet, laundry list of them down the pipe here. Uh, I have launched on a lot of these platforms over the last decade, have a lot of experience in many of these. Um, I've even tested Newegg for non-computer parts, uh, pretty small platform still. Tried uh, Bonanza, haven't had a lot of luck with that one. Uh, for the most part, I think uh, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and Walmart those are the, probably the core four marketplaces that I recommend selling on right now. And uh, Walmart is still disappointing. I, I think it could do better, um, but I would highly recommend launching Walmart right now because I think Walmart is the most likely to claw back at Amazon and get some, get some ground. Uh, and uh, it might only be 5% of your Amazon sales, but I would show up now and get some of that traction sooner rather than later. One key though is if you do launch on Walmart, recommend um, keeping your prices in parity with Amazon because if you have a price lower on Walmart than you do on Amazon, Amazon throws a conniption fit and takes you out of your own buy box. So if you're running low on stock on Amazon, raise your prices on Walmart two days before you, low, before you raise them on Amazon. And that can cause a little bit of uh, extra work. So uh, one workaround for that is use different UPC codes on other platforms. Not supposed to do that, by the way. But if that is a problem or a constraint, that's an easy solution. Um, lastly, if you, if you need to get launched on any of these platforms, um, so here at My Amazon Guy, we specialize in launching all marketplaces um, and Walmart, eBay, and Etsy are the three that we recommend. Um, just go over to myamazonguy.com and you can see some details on what we've uh, put in place on what the pros for each of these platforms are. So for example, with Etsy, it's pretty really easy to use. Walmart, not so easy to use in comparison. Um, most of them don't have monthly fees, uh, similar referral fee structure as compared to Amazon. Um, and some have advertising like uh, Etsy has some automated advertising, uh, CPC, eBay has advertising, but it's CPA, which stands for cost per acquisition. So you don't pay on the click, you pay on the order. Walmart, you have to spend $1,000 per month to advertise on. So there's a lot of different constraints and what, what's involved on in launching these platforms. we got some FAQs on here. So if you're interested in getting some platforms connected, we can set up your ShipStation APIs on your behalf, as well as setting up those automations to go out of FBA as part of our setup for you. Um, cost for Walmart, 1000 bucks. Etsy, 800 and eBay, $800. And if you have another marketplace you want to launch on, it's not on that list, just contact us. We'll, we'll see if we can do it for you. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy.